Senator Kennedy from Louisiana is recognized. <clears throat> Mr. Administrator, I, uh, I don't know you very well. You, I've watched you in some of the testimony. You seem like a very nice person. I don't want you to be, uh, I don't want you to take what I'm about to say personally. Um, I understand I may be wasting my time today. Um, I believe that FEMA and the Biden administration have made their decision with respect to flood insurance. I regret that, but I believe that's a fact. And most of my people in Louisiana understand at this juncture that the only place they're going to find The only place that they're going to find um, lower food prices, cheaper gas, a cleaner, safer environment, and affordable insurance is in the voting booth. Because my people, most of them, and I think most Americans have concluded that Republicans aren't perfect, but the other side's crazy. Now, um, about 500,000 people in my state have flood insurance. And despite what, um, despite what some people say, uh, these are not multi-millionaires um, in multi-millionaire homes on the beach. These are working people. And there are people in the United States Congress who claim to be for the little guy, but they don't really like him or her very much. Uh, a lot's been made about repetitive lost properties, and, and no fair-minded person would not want to address that issue. I want to address that issue. But this issue also has been demagogued. Of the 500,000 people in my state who have had repetitive losses, that's, that's two or more losses of over $1,000 over a 10-year period, it's 11,000 people. That's about 2%. Of those who've had severe repetitive losses, that's uh, four or more payments on claims of over $5,000 over that period. Uh, that's 594 out of 500,000. That's one-tenth of one percent. Now, I understand politics, okay? You're trying to make some changes. You're going to accentuate the points that you think will be the most persuasive, but I think we ought to be factual. Um, why, why won't FEMA share its algorithm with the American people? Uh, thank you, sir. And, uh, you know, we look forward to continuing to work uh, with you. Uh, we've shared the algorithm. Uh, we've put forward on, the, on our website the um, methodology. No, you haven't. No, you haven't, Mr. Administrator. I apologize for interrupting. Mm -hmm. But no, you haven't. Let me just ask you directly. W would you, well, first, who owns that? Did, did FEMA put together the algorithm in-house? Yes, sir. Okay. So you did it with current FEMA staff, no, no outside help? No, as we do across the National Flood Insurance Program, we rely... Uh, heavily on the private sector and the contract you support relied that on they Milliman. provide. I'm, I'm interrupting. I'm sorry, but oh, I Chairman Brown's going to cut me off. Um, you relied on Milliman. Milliman was one of the contracts. Does Milliman own the algorithm? No. Okay. Um, and in this algorithm, you say you can zero in on an individual home and predict wh whether it's going to flood over the next thirty or hundred years. We don't. Um, and that's how you set your rates, okay? We set the rates based on the individual characteristics of the property. Right. You correct. say the individual property, not a floodplain. 
Well, if I sent you a public information doctrine request and I said, look, I want the algorithm so I can hire somebody to review this algorithm Mm -hmm. to see what clairvoyant people are are telling us about climate change and what's going to happen in in America over the next 150 years, um, would you give me that algorithm? As I said, we, we already have, and we responded no, to a letter. No, you haven't. Uh, no, you haven't. So, I want the algorithm so I can ha- hire some experts to look at it and either say this thing is watertight or, or, or it's a grossly political or somewhere in between. We've, we've put on the web exactly what an expert would need to determine and get to the answer you, that you, you put want. on the web the in bullet addition, points. In the, no, we put, you put on, on the web the bullet points, just like we got bullet points on our gun control bill, and then we got the bill. No, we we so put forth we put I, forth a document. I'm going to send you a, a public records document. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt, but they give us five minutes. I understand. I'm sorry. Uh, it's probably like a council meeting to you. Can I make one name. one last sure. comment? But I'm going to send you a, a, a records doctrine request, and I'd like the algorithm so I can hire somebody. To, I, it's, I'm not saying I don't trust you, but, but you know, I play poker every now and then with friends. They're all friends, but I cut the cards every single time. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I, I want somebody who can really look at this. Sure. Well, what we've posted on the, on the web uh, is uh, similar in fashion to what a private insurance company would have to provide a state insurance commissioner to change rates in the state. But more importantly, GAO is, uh, has started a study of risk rating 2.0 that we're cooperating uh, 100% with that I'm sure we'll get to also a lot of the answers that you're that you're looking right. for. The government's going to study its own its own proposals. What Mr. could Morstead, possibly uh, go wrong? Mr. Morstead, Senator Kennedy and others will be sending you uh, written questions, as you know, and you'll have 45 days to respond to them. Yeah. Uh, Senator Menendez of New Jersey.